Libra. You need to know this right now for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Libra for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Libra for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Libra. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So, Libra, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Libra, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Libra, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Libra, it is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation, or you're telling me you're pissed and you have an ax to grind here. Now, Libra, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because of the tip for tat tug of war toe-to-toe, -to -toe, because of the mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed here. And it could be because I hope it wasn't a change in your luck and fortune. We'll see. Libra, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you're over the moon, you want to be happy, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Libra. Clarify the sun for Libra. Clarify the sun Libra. It is clarified with the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Libra, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Now, Libra, something could have been illuminated concerning work or business or some type of an agreement or contract and a change in luck and fortune here. You could also tell me that something was illuminated concerning there being a third party. We'll see if you want to work things out with this person. You have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. I hope you're not happy over here with a third part. Let's see. 
I don't know. Let's see. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Libra. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now Libra, listen, you could have this blessing here. You could be looking at these coins, you're happy because... Something is working out. You're getting this agreement here. It's a change in your luck and fortune, but you had to go to battle for it. Very well could be getting it. You could also tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to start new with this person. Because there's been some type of back and forth, tip for tat, tug of war, mind games, and manipulation here. Could also tell me that there's just someone else new in the picture for you libra you have seven of wands aries leo or sag this is you being defensive you're on the defense but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors gossip and other people's opinions now this can be you shunning someone fighting someone off setting boundaries with someone but this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Clarify the seven of wands for Libra. Clarify the seven of wands for Libra. Clarify the seven of wands for Libra. It is clarified with the queen of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this queen of cups. Using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Libra. It is clarified with this Ace of Cups again. Again, hmm. So, some type of blessing, money, assets, resources, property, and you know, new love here. Did you have to stand up and fight for this? Something could have been illuminated about some type of an agreement or a contract here. You had to stand up and fight concerning it. Ended up being happy concerning this agreement with some type of blessing, money, assets, resources, property. Something that changes your luck and fortune here. But you had to fight for it. You had to fight for it. And you contemplated concerning it. You could also tell me that you're kind of standoff and shunning and setting boundaries with starting new with this person. Or you're shunning them because they have new love. Or you're telling me that someone else is out here making you happy. And you're defending that. Oh boy. You have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business, 
with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's block communication here. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're taking action to block this person out or you're telling me that you're wanting to take action, but you're stuck. And maybe you're thinking about it. Maybe you're thinking about whether or not you want to start new with them, start new with someone else here. Hmm. You're going to have to let me know. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Libra. Now, this is just additional messages here. It says commitment, long-term relationship, commitment, long-term relationship. What else? For Libra. What else? For Libra. And it says cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity here. So maybe you need to do a cleanse or cleanse your space here. But there is something about a commitment. Maybe an agreement here. That agreement. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, you need to know this right now for November the 9th through November the 10th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace